Well, my music finds expression in church. And when I say church, I mean KICC, which is Kingsway International Christian Center. Uh, my head pastor, my spiritual father, is Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo. Um, so, and I've been worshiping and serving with Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo for, wow, since I was 19. That's what I was, since I was 19. So, I was like, now I'm currently in Ghana with my husband, Pastor Andy Yosen, let me just mention. And that's where you'll find me worshiping. Um, leading worship on a regular basis, um, Sundays during the week. That's kind of where that's where um, I'm normally. You will normally find me singing a lot more. And then obviously at my concert at the end of towards the at the end of the year, I normally um, do quite a few songs that I've written there as well. Stars in their causes above. Well, first of all, I believe that my the gift that my gift is God given, and I I feel that as a Christian, I'm a Christian, and I believe in God, and I believe in Jesus Christ, and I want to use my gift to express who He is. I want to use my gift to express His name, express what He does, express His values, express godly world values. So every time I sing, my expression is always, you always find me in church or if I'm not even in the church, whatever platform I'm standing on, I'm expressing God, I'm talking about God. So that's why, so my, that's my music always falls within that range to be those values that I'll be expressing. Morning, new mercies I see. Okay, so um, at the moment, obviously, um, uh, I think there's some changes going on. Um, so I'm working on a project. Well, not I want to say project. Actually, just working on a song at the moment with a uh, very interesting guy. I'm probably, you probably know him. It's called Flo Rocker. Flo! Okay. Right. Um, um, we're doing it. We, we actually just recorded a song. Fantastic. You need to hear it. But um, I'm sure you hear it soon. And then, um, obviously, with working with Flo Rocker, I met Flo Rocker in Ghana. I met him in the UK once, but he didn't notice me. Yeah. But, <laughs> but okay, sorry, Flo. But um, <laughs> he came over to actually. We actually invited him over to our church, KICC in Ghana, and he was ministering. Um, and we met. You know, I think obviously he heard me sing and he thought, "Wow, who that?" <laughs> we got talking about, "Oh, what can we do? What can we change? Can we make? Oh, we can do this. We can do that." So we got together. I'm um, here in Nigeria, you know, in Lagos. And um, we worked well. We actually worked on a track, a fantastic track, actually. And then, um, obviously, we're going to do some other stuff together. Um, but obviously, we've been working also on kind of rebranding my me hair. It's looking different. <laughs> the hair's changed, actually. For those who know, they know that the hair was like really big, but now it's smooth. Okay, so we're just looking at rebranding, doing something different. Well, it's the way that I look. I just, I mean, I've not done that. For, I don't think I've done that for a long time. So we're kind of looking at just making some few, some changes, just to make sure because obviously music is changing. And you've got to make sure that you, um, you are communicating with the audience, and the audience can actually, that when they look at you, they feel they can, um, they can relate to the music, to yourself, to your style, to your, uh, the person that they're looking at. So that's important. So we're, so we're, we're doing some work on that. comes to things like genre i think as a christian i think I, I don't i don't see how you can say that well christians can only sing a particular genre i think the the content trumps the genre you know you have to be able to fit content into a particular genre and i think for us as christians our content is god and god is expressed in all kinds of manners you know he we can talk about God's love, God's name, God's power, peace. God speaks to everything. God speaks to family. God speaks about love. God speaks about every area of our lives. But obviously, all of us have different genres that we kind of, you know, some of us will love rap. Some of us will love, you know, kind of urban urban music. Some of us love more kind of funk, you know. Some of us want to do reggae, R&B, you know. We, we, some of us rock. We, some, I like rock, you know. People want to do different styles. But obviously, then what's, what it for, as a Christian, I will always ask, uh, uh, a Christian, whether you're a young person who's starting out, I would say, so what exactly are you trying to express? That is what you want to put. What am I, what are you, what is your message? You can put your message to any style of music. 
it doesn't matter. That's, I mean, that's my opinion. I believe God gave us the notes. There's no, there's no, um, um, there's no evil note and a, and a righteous note. A C is a C. A C sharp, a C sharp is a C sharp is a C sharp. So um, obviously, I mean, um, some people will argue with me that okay, but oh, different people. Some of these things originated with certain people, but we have to take it and use it to honor God. I mean, I'm not obviously yes. I understand what you're saying, but the genre, if it's R and B, if it's rock, if it's rap, it, for me, content. What is the content? The content makes the difference. The message that I'm sending makes the difference. What am I talking about? Am I talking about sex? I'm talking about love. You know, those are two different messages and they can be in the same genre. So I've got to make sure that for me as a Christian, I'm talking about God and what is God saying about every area of life. I'm able to cover those areas. For some of us, God will give us particular areas that he wants us to address and that's fine. So you might, you might find out some people are more they wanting to be more into maybe work, music that is more worshipful. But though I think that every song really that a Christian sings really is worshipful because it's talking about God. It might not be what I might use on a Sunday morning for congregational worship, but really it is still worshipful because it is still given the honor and the due is still going back to God. So I think the styles really, we, we have to be careful that we're not splitting hairs on the fact that, Lord, you sang this style, therefore we don't think that you're Christian. What is your? We should always ask, what is his message? Who is he promoting? Whose agenda are you promoting? That's important than just the show itself. All for the love. 